NASA has just received a groundbreaking image from the Blue Ghost Lander that challenges everything we thought we knew about the Moon. This robotic lander, launched in January, has captured an astonishingly clear and detailed view of the lunar surface, one that defies all logic. But the real bombshell? A chilling, never-before-seen image revealing something we were never supposed to witness. What exactly did Blue Ghost discover that made NASA reconsider its entire lunar mission? Stay with us, because this revelation was so shocking that it led NASA to halt all future moon operations. This wasn't just any snapshot. Taken in mid-February, the footage came from about 75 miles above the surface, giving a perspective not often seen. Blue Ghost has now circled the moon three full times, each pass bringing it closer to its final destination. Firefly Aerospace, the company behind the lander, says everything is on track for the big moment, landing on the moon's surface. If all goes according to plan, this historic event is set for early March. Before we dive into this, what Blue Ghost captured is far more unsettling than anyone could have predicted. And this is just the beginning of what will leave you speechless. The thrill isn't just about the view. Blue Ghost is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including NASA-backed instruments designed to explore the moon in unprecedented ways. These include sensors that monitor the lunar environment and experimental navigation systems. The lander has covered an immense journey of nearly 239,000 miles before entering lunar orbit. Now, it's carefully adjusting its trajectory, preparing for the final descent. A key milestone was reached when Blue Ghost executed a crucial engine burn, lowering its orbit. This maneuver brought it close enough to capture an exceptionally detailed view of the moon's surface, including regions that have remained beyond reach for many past missions. A particular moment stood out, a flyby of the moon's far side, the part that never faces Earth. This is the same region that has sparked countless theories over the years, and now Blue Ghost has given the world a new glimpse. For decades, people have speculated about what really exists on the hidden side of the moon. This latest footage has only fueled those discussions. The video shows an intricate landscape of deep craters and rough terrain a stark reminder of the moon's violent past. But it's not just the craters catching attention. The clarity of these images has led some to question whether there's something NASA and Firefly Aerospace aren't saying. Are these just craters, or do they hold something more? While many space enthusiasts are thrilled, not everyone is convinced. As soon as the footage surfaced online, skeptics wasted no time in responding. Some doubted its authenticity suggesting it was CGI or an elaborate hoax. Others noted that the lighting and textures appeared oddly artificial. NASA firmly stands by the footage's authenticity, but in an era of hyper-realistic deepfakes and digital effects, skepticism persists. Then there's the landing site itself. Blue Ghost is set to touch down near a volcanic feature called Mons Lahire, located within a massive lunar basin. The name Sea of Crises alone makes people wonder what could be waiting in this strange region. The moon has been studied for decades, yet there's still so much unknown. Some scientists suspect that lunar dust possesses unusual properties, including the ability to levitate under certain conditions. To investigate this, Blue Ghost is equipped with specialized instruments, but could it uncover something completely unexpected? NASA's last crewed mission to the moon took place over 50 years ago, and since then, numerous theories have surfaced about what astronauts may have actually seen. Some believe they encountered unnatural structures or mysterious formations. Now, with Blue Ghost heading to a largely unexplored region, a pressing question arises. What if it discovers something that changes everything? Could this mission reveal secrets that have been kept from the public for decades? However, time is running against the lander. Once it touches down, it will have just two weeks to complete its mission before the unforgiving lunar night sets in. With temperatures plunging to extreme lows, the cold will render its electronics inoperable. If Blue Ghost fails to finish its work in time, its data and images may be lost forever. But what if, just before its systems shut down, it captures something extraordinary? Could its final transmission unveil a revelation no one is ready for? 
The timing of this mission is interesting. With multiple nations and private companies racing to the moon, some wonder if Blue Ghost is scouting for more than just science. The moon is becoming a place of strategic interest, with countries eyeing it for resources and potential future bases. If something unusual is discovered, would NASA share it with the public, or would it be buried under classified reports? Blue Ghost discoveries have made people even more curious about the moon, but this isn't the first time humans have tried to learn its biggest unknowns. The moon has always been a giant question mark in the sky, pulling humans toward it with dreams of discovery. But let's be real. What started as curiosity quickly turned into a full-on space race, where two superpowers flex their muscles, desperate to plant a flag first. The late 1950s set the stage, and things quickly gained momentum. The Soviets moved fast. In 1959, they sent Luna one soaring past the moon marking the first-ever spacecraft flyby. Soon after, Luna 2 crashed into the surface, proving the moon was more than just a distant glow in the night sky. Then came Luna 3, capturing the first images of the moon's far side, an unseen, rugged landscape that surprised scientists but didn't slow them down. By the early 1960s, the U.S. entered the race. The Ranger missions functioned like high-speed crash tests, transmitting images right up until impact. In 1964, Ranger 7 provided the sharpest images yet, helping to identify potential landing sites. But photographs weren't enough. They needed a controlled landing. That's where the Surveyor program came in. In 1966, Surveyor 1 achieved a soft landing, confirming the surface was stable enough to support a spacecraft, an essential step toward the next big leap. Everything led up to the Apollo missions, which were nothing short of insane. In 1968, Apollo 8 became the first crewed spacecraft to orbit the moon, giving astronauts a front-row seat to the lunar landscape. But the real game-changer was Apollo 11. In 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped onto the surface, making history while Michael Collins waited in orbit. That one small step was a giant victory for the U.S., proving they had won the moon race. And let's not forget, it was a huge gamble. The world held its breath as they left, hoping they wouldn't get stranded. The Apollo program didn't stop there. Apollo 12 touched down near an old surveyor spacecraft, letting astronauts retrieve parts to see what years of exposure had done. Apollo 13, though, was nearly a disaster. An oxygen tank exploded, forcing the crew to fight for survival, while NASA scrambled to bring them home. Miraculously, they made it. Later missions explored different regions, but by 1972, Apollo 17 marked the last time humans walked on the moon. After that, interest faded and funding dried up. The U.S. had proved its point, and the space race fizzled. Meanwhile, the Soviets continued deploying robotic missions. In 1966, Luna 9 achieved the first soft landing, capturing images of the moon's surface. For years later, Luna 16 became the first robotic mission to retrieve lunar samples. Then, in 1971, Luna 17 delivered Lunocode 1, a remote-controlled rover that traversed the lunar terrain, transmitting valuable data. Despite these achievements, no Soviet mission placed humans on the moon, cementing the U.S. as the dominant force in lunar exploration. For years, the moon remained untouched, accumulating space dust. However, interest reignited in the 1990s. In 1994, the U.S. launched Clementine, which hinted at the presence of frozen water in permanently shadowed craters. By 1998, Lunar Prospector confirmed the existence of water ice, a groundbreaking discovery that could enable long-term lunar bases. As the 2000s began, more nations and organizations joined the race. The growing role of private companies in space exploration is often hailed as progress. But what does it truly signify? NASA is turning to firms like Firefly Aerospace to execute critical missions, missions that also align with corporate agendas. The Blue Ghost Lander isn't just about advancing science. It's about control, influence, and ultimately profit. Establishing a foothold on the moon goes beyond exploration. It's a strategic move for economic expansion. 
And let's not overlook the fact that whoever dominates lunar resources could shape the future of deep space travel. Firefly Aerospace isn't merely launching rockets. They are positioning themselves for long-term dominance, ensuring control over every phase, from launch to landing.